Hello, beautiful ladies of my heart. If you're returning, moi. If you're brand new, moi. I am so humbled. I have over 800 subscribers. That is amazing to me. I'm so excited. I can't wait for more. You guys are just wonderful. Oh, wait. So today it is December's Days and Days. All right, let's just get right to it, shall we? I am going to start with a little bit of skincare. So I'm loving this green tea by Enza Tree, I believe that's what it's called. It stains your sink though. <laughs> Be very careful. If you get it on your clothes, it does come off. But I'm loving how it feels on my skin and what I do after I wash my face in the morning before I do my LED or my Nera. I will uh, put on the green tea. I'll put it in my palm and then dab it on that way. I was doing a, a cotton ball and all it does is soak up all the product and you gotta use more. So it works better this way. And I'm loving it. Has it made a big difference under my LED? It's only been a couple of months. I'm gonna give it uh, the 90 days. Then there is the Nera. This is an odd little device. It's got a little tiny head, which is perfect for around your eyes and around your lips. And that's what I'm concerned about. I've only been using it a month, so you can't really tell right now, except I do notice right here, maybe it's my imagination, but I do notice this is seeming firmer, less, less, less crepey. So shh, let's go. Don't let it know what I said. Okay, so let's go, let's go on to the makeup. Okay, I have Milani Eye Palette here, the one I use for my Christmas extravaganza. Wind down. Oh, they're beautiful. They're pigmented. They're lovely. They just go on like butter. Okay, next are the brushes. I, I'm not sure if I've already tooted their horn. This is the BK Beauty 109. Uh, I use it for the contour because I don't use brushes for foundation. I use my sponge because of my matureness in my skin. So this is great for contour. I just love it. And then I have the Angie A507. I, I'm loving this for bronzer and blush. It's very lovely, so that's a hit. Then I love this Elf Halo Glow contour in light medium and because it dry, does dry quickly you'll want to not dilly dally when you put this on but it, it is lovely very lovely so i'm loving wet n wilds primer this hydrate 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 i don't use it on the, on all of my face because it's really liquidy and i end up making more of a mess than you know getting it on my face so i still of course am very much in love with Laura Mercier spackle that looks like worms when you squeeze it out. Very nice on your skin. I love this for under eyes hydration before I apply concealer. And if you haven't seen my concealer video, I will link it at the end of this video. So I am loving this LA Girl pigment changer for your makeup. Uh, I've had a lot of luck with it. Other people are not so much into it. I, 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 it's really quite a thing you have to get used to or don't think about too much. I think it looks good and it helps my makeup. I hope. <laughs> okay, in the foundation comparisons, I absolutely love my e.l.f. Halo Glow. I'm really liking this glowy makeup. Okay, I'm just loving it for winter time. It goes on really nice and doesn't set in your fine lines and wrinkles. Skin is so hard to take care of in the winter. It's constant attention. And I hope you saw my uh, get ready for bed with me. And it went over all of what you need to do to get your skin hydrated and lovely during the winter months. I love my uh, two mattes by CoverGirl and by NYX Blur. They're lovely for full coverage. But like I said, I'm really enjoying the fondy tints during the winter. What I have on my face today is Bare Minerals Powder. That's another one that goes on amazing. And the Laura Mercier powders. I'm just loving those. I got the new Laura Mercier bronzer in light. And for winter, it is so much better. I'm wearing it now. It just goes on nicer. And, it, I, and there's little room for error. And that's important for me. Okay, that's it for the yays for this month. And I only have a few nays. This is always their waterproof mascara by Laura Mercier. And it went on okay the first time and then it's just, it's clumpy and it's very drying with the waterproof mascara. I didn't even realize this was waterproof. I'm trying to stay away from those. It really dries out your lashes and I'm working too hard to keep my lashes glorious. I'm not too thrilled with. It is very pretty. Wet n Wild's uh, color, color icon bronzer in Palm Beach. It's just a little too glowy, glittery for my skin. Maybe in the summer it'd be nice. Um, 
It's just not my favorite there. Then I did not like another was um, LA Girls Matte Pro Makeup. It was just really uh, it cakey. It showed every fine line and my skin was very hydrated. So I'm not really impressed with their makeup. When I do Ipsy for January, I will review the Ipsy I received in December. I think that makes it a little bit easier for my brain as well as yours, hopefully. All right, now I have some new products, ladies. I'm still liking the Cetaphil eye cream. It's very hydrating and I, I'm using this religiously morning and night and my eyes are very hydrated. Is this the holy grail? I don't know, it works. So I'll continue using it, it's only 11 bucks, so it's much nicer. For Christmas, I got the Scottish Fine Soaps in Sea Kelp Body Butter. Now it's lovely, it's very thick, but it soaks in really nice. I'm still loving my goat lotion as well. I'm just, I just love lotions, can't have too many lotions. So I just got a new cleansing bulb, Juno Skin, and it has a lovely scent. Oh my gosh, and does it work? Oh my goodness. Well, I've only used it a couple times. <laughs> but you put it on your fingers, rub it into your eyes, into a little water very carefully, and it removes all your eye makeup and removes your first layer, if not all of it, depending on how thick a makeup you wore. <laughs> you had the pancake on, it probably wouldn't get it off. You'd need a second cleanse. Then another new product that I just got, Beach Babe, Not Your Mother's Texturizing Paste for your hair. Oh, it's got a lovely, lovely smell. It's kind of thick, but you just put it on your hands and rub it in and then just go through your hair. This is just so fun to go over all this stuff with you. If there's anything in the future you would like me to, to demo or to compare, just let me know because I'm really loving this. I'm finding some amazing stuff. So I'll list everything in the description below that I wore today and that I loved here in my review. And then next month, We'll go forth and conquer. <laughs> I hope you had a happy, happy new year. Well, it's just starting. Let's get going. Let's, let's pray that this is going to be a year that we all can get along. I, I know. I just, I'll just pray. All right, everybody. Love you so. See you soon.